liquid glass. Make sure it's clean. Again, you have to make sure four corners, the glasses, the liquid glass sit inside the plastic film. See like this one's not all the way. So hold it. Because if you don't align this when you push it back a uh, I think this one's a little bit off. When you push it back a uh, the metal cover you're gonna crack the corner of the liquid glass, there will be a big big problems. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. So you're gonna do this thing. Just sliding, holding the liquid gas. Get your hand behind. Make sure everything. Don't push it until you measure everything's in place. Then you try to push the plastic. Not plastic. I'm the metal thing in. So now. We are ready to put back the screws. Okay. Four screws by holding a small interface module. One, two. Well, I don't need to play off, so let me take it up. It's much easier for me to, to put back the smaller screws here. Okay. Oops, this screw so tiny. Four. What you do, get flip over this aluminum foil. Just tip that the way it should be. You can add a little more tape if you want to. Now, it's almost done. We're gonna secure this wire and then put a uh, aluminum foil to cover that. That hole, so make sure the lights won't bleed in now. So, just stick. You see this? There we go. Okay. Do the same thing. Here and there. a bit like original okay do the same thing on this side okay go underneath underneath this is black wire okay one oops one is here to the other one just put it back right. okay here's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna reuse that uh, I'm not gonna reuse this plastic but again uh, I'm gonna use a little bit so strong tips that we have here hmm. let me get a there we go get the plate it's much easier make sure it secures all right let's get the other one We're gonna add two more uh, aluminum foil to cover the light to prevent it bleeding out. And as when you purchase all these kits, it comes with this. Well, you don't need, if you don't need that long, you can cut it in half and save some for this. 
So, here we go. This thing's sometimes difficult to go. One. Okay, see that? It's okay that you cover this screw hole because later on, if you need to screw in, you just poke a hole. That's it. One's done. The other one that I. Oh, yeah, I just cut it off. Okay, well, you st if you still have some of this, you can put it back like here and here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'll cut in half. All right. Oops. It's done. That's it. Thank you for watching. Hi, this one's actually uh, we just uh, finished that uh, a uh, upgrade LED UB series. This is LTM one seven zero E eight dash L two. Um, I just want to fly up uh, on my bench and test it uh, with the, the other set. This is a seventeen inch original with uh, CCF LM. Uh, this one's just upgrade to UB seventy series. I mean, we are using our MS 459 LCD controller to fire up the screens looks pretty obvious uh, you know it's much brighter and also it consumes current about this is the current that LED strip consumes as about a little bit less than 1.5 amp normally the 4 amp screen usually if you're using a, L, a CCFL it's probably consumed anyway between 1.9 to 2.3 ampere so it consumes less power it's brighter